Hello everyone, in this new tutorial, we are going to explore one of the new features available in Adobe Lightroom application for your mobile devices. As you can see here, I used Lightroom to take number of photos using Adobe Lightroom on iPhone 7. As you can see, the camera row photos are having a DNG format written in the top right of each photo. We are going to choose one of those photos and start doing photo editing to improve its light, color, and contrast. I'm going to choose one of the photos here. In order to open it, Adobe Lightroom is very easy and handy to use as you are taking and modifying your photos on your mobile device. Furthermore, you can take the photos and integrate it using the Adobe Creative Cloud to work with your preferable desktop application such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom. Here I'm going to start by clicking into the crop icon here that allows you to choose between different cropping options. The first icon here allows you to set up a cropping ratio. For example, I'm going to set up a cropping ratio to 3 to 4 ratio. Then I'm going to start to crop my photo to add more focus to the group of 3 or 4 flowers here. Then I'm going to press the right icon on the far bottom of my screen. Once done, I will return to the photo editing. The second icon here allows you to choose between creative preset for your photos such as having a cream tone, sepia tone and different type of tones. I'm going to press cancel here by pressing the cross icon on the top right of my screen as I would like to create some custom modifications. I'm going to click the light icon here that allows you to control the light of your photo. I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit. And I'm going to drag down to increase the light and I'm going to increase the plex in my photo to make like more contrast. I can also click into the curve here in order to use the curve, a very similar curve to the, the one we use inside Adobe Photoshop to control brightness and shade in your photo. Then I'm going to click done. I'm going to click the icon again to close the light properties. And I'm going to click into the temperature icon to modify the tone and the temperature of my photo. I'm going to keep the white balance as shot using my phone. And I'm going to increase the vibrance of my colors and I'm going to in increase the saturation a little bit. I can also click mix icon in order to make a color adjustment according to a specific color in the image. For example, here currently the red colors are selected. So when I modify the hue saturation or the luminance, it will apply to the red colors in my image. I can choose between different color inside my image. I can also click into the icon here in order to pick a color with your finger and start dragging to modify its hue, saturation or luminance. Currently, I am selecting both the green and yellows in my image and I am increasing their hue. Then I'm going to click into the icon again to hide the changes and I can click into the tone in order to modify the overall tone in my image. For example, I can drag the clarity a little bit to the right in order to increase the clarity of the details in my image. By clicking into the lens correction here, you can enable the, the lens correction slider here in order to allow your application to modify any issues related to the lens while taking the photo. 
the last icon here allows you to undo a specific settings for example you, you can undo the adjustment and so on after finishing the image you can click into the icon on top left here next to the cloud icon in order to display the difference between the image before your modification and the image after your modification to the cloud icon here you can sync your photo with the, your creative cloud storage in order to use this photo with your Lightroom application Photoshop application and so on you can also click into the top right dotted icon here in order to control your setting for example you can copy your setting to another image or you can move your current modification setting to another image delete modification and so on you can click in the second icon from top right in order to share your photo save it to camera roll open it in other application or edit your photo using Adobe Photoshop Mix to do a liquify or healing in the photo thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to click subscribe for more design and design tool tutorials